Hello and welcome to another episode of Tommy Trues. You may be able, to be able to tell there's a slightly better audio quality this time. I do have my Tommy Trues mic sponsored by... No, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, today I just wanted to talk about fear. And as I've mentioned in previous episodes, fear and anxiety has been things that I've wrestled with quite a bit in my faith journey. And it's also been areas where I have also gained quite a bit of victory as well. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to share today about, um, yeah, just how some of the verses that have really encouraged me in overcoming fear. And so the first verse is 1 John 4, 18 to 19, or two verses actually. But um, yeah, so 1 John 4, 8, 18 to 19, it says, um, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. We love because he first loved us. And yeah, so I just love those verses because I think, first of all, it reminds me that we can only love to the ability that we know God's love. And um, yeah, it just points us back to the source. Because yeah, I find a lot of the time we try and love in our own strength. We try and love um, out of just trying harder to love, um, out of, um, yeah, may maybe also out of fear, out of, out of a fear that if we don't love others, they won't love us back. And so, yeah, I think, I think that that is something that is um, really helpful to know that, yeah, we're just loved. We're just loved by God. And um, yeah, we're his children. And one of the things I really appreciate about children is just, you can just see they're not afraid. And, um, and I think that's because they know, they have the perspective that they're loved. They have the perspective that um, yeah, they, that they, even though they're, they're, you know, more fragile than a lot of adults, so they're more fragile in terms of, you know, they can't care for their own needs. Um, but they, they, at the same time, they're so, um, unafraid. And I think that's, we can learn a lot from, from, from seeing children. Jesus says, you know, that we should become like little children to enter the kingdom of God. And so, yeah, that's, that's one thing I think it, points to is that, you know, when we know that we're God's dearly loved children, um, we don't have fear. And I think the second thing that this, these verses do is it reminds us that, um, yeah, fear has to do with punishment. And so when we're afraid, we're fearing some sort of consequence. And like often that's consequence is maybe in social settings that we fear they'll reject us, we feel they'll demean us, we feel they'll look down upon us, or um, yeah, that they won't yeah, that we, we may lose their friendship. And I think it reveals, um, because a lot of the time people can do that. And, um, and that's because we live in a culture where um, we don't see each other out of grace, but out of our oh, tit for tat. You know, if, if they do something good for me, then I'll do something good for them. Or um, yeah, if they annoy me too much, I won't want to be around them. And that's not the way that Jesus interacts with us, but that's often the way that we interact with, with each other. And it can also be the way that we can see God if we're not careful and if we project that onto God. Because, you know, God, God is obviously not, His ways are higher than ours. He, his ways are not, He doesn't operate in that same um, Pharise Pharisaic way of um, interacting with, with each other. And so, yeah, I think those verses have really encouraged me. Another verse that has really encouraged me is 2 Timothy 1 7. And it says that, for God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And um, yeah, I think that, that verse really helps to, again, remind you that, you know, whenever you're hearing like a fear-based voice, whether it's in your head, whether it's from other people, um, that's not from God. That's not, like God, God's not given you that spirit of fear, but of power. And so... God's always in the, in the business of empowering you. He's always in the business of, like, even when he convicts you of sin, it's for your good. It's, for, it's not to push you away from God, but it's to draw you closer towards God. And so that's why we know that whenever we feel condemned, um, that's not from God. Whenever we feel um, unloved, that's not from God. And so, um, yeah, whenever other people don't love us, um, that's also not from God, but we can still love them. And so, um, yeah, I think these, these verses just really remind me that we don't need to fear when we, we face 
threats to whether or not we're going to be loved by a certain person or yeah even just in general we we don't need to fear because god loves us and that he loves us unconditionally and so we need to be like that there's children who just they they're just not afraid despite knowing that they're fragile well they may not know that but they are fragile um and yeah so we need to come to god knowing that we are his children we loved and um yeah so I pray that this episode will encourage your hearts and I'll see you next time <laughs>